so impressed by seeing everybody here. I've been walking around trying to find these white supremacists they keep talking about. Has anybody seen a white supremacist here? That guy! <laughs> we need to send a proper message to these politicians behind us who are sitting there in the parliament cowering in fear of our voices. How many of you voted for National at the last election? How about the Green Party? How about the Party Maori? Right, and the Act Party. You guys are all voters, and they're standing and they're sneering at you and treating you like scumbags. The only scumbags are the cowards that are in Parliament behind us. They don't know what the power of this protest is. They are frightened. They want to talk to leaders. There are no leaders here. Everyone is here of their own free will and that's what it's all about. You all saw the convoy and you all said, I've had enough. That's it. I'm done. We're not angry, but we're mad as hell. You know, you get politicians like David Seymour who travels around the country and he talks about free speech and he talks about rights. And when it came to your free speech and your rights and all of our rights, he was missing in action. He says that sticks and stones will break my bones and words will never hurt me. And when he got some hurty words, he hid behind the skirts of Jacinda Ardern. Christopher Luxon is the temporary leader of the National Party. He is too gutless to come and talk to you. The National Party was founded on individual rights and freedoms. He has abrogated his responsibility to leave. His time is over. He is hiding behind the cinder I do in skirts. And now let's talk about the tyrant. She told us all in September 2020 that there would be no mandates. She lied. The politicians behind us, through their cowardice, have ceded the right to govern. Their time is up, the mandates must end. We're not going away until the mandates end and they need to know. We should always tell them to see you next Tuesday. <laughs> you all know what that means. The media are liars too. They are too afraid to turn down the money from the government. They've been corrupted and they're owned. They cannot be trusted. This is a sea change in New Zealand. Embrace it. And I thank you all for standing up for everybody's rights. And let's hope more New Zealanders can get the courage to say no more.